What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dez. About to give it to you the Reese way. Uh, today we got Caleb Williams 2024 Pro Day. So much hype building around Caleb Williams, the quarterback out of USC. Uh, projected number one overall pick. Me personally, it was a tough call, man. You had Justin Fields. I would have kept him. Drafted Marvin Harrison. Traded the first pick uh, to maybe like the Washington Commanders or Patriots. Get a future first rounder. That's what I would have done. But Keller Williams might be the next Patrick Mahomes and the Bears did the right thing. So let's check out his pro day to see how good he did. Keep in mind, like the pro days are scripted, so you should look your best on your pro day. And the past showed us pro days don't really matter, honestly. Josh Rosen, Zach Wilson. Josh Rosen was thrown in the rain. People was in awe. So. He, he talented though, man. He talented for sure. The only, the only question I really have is coming right off the bat is the NFL going to be too fast for him. Now keep in mind he did struggle against top 25 teams. And he's not going to get a chance to sit for a year like Patrick Mahomes. So we shall see. man out there we want to see those deep balls pause here we go bears is in our division too man so I don't know man I'm a Lions fan, if, as you can see. He, that's his fault. He, I don't know what that, he was doing on that route. He's short, but the kid is talented, man. 
and the Bears, you know how they are with quarterbacks. So it's gonna be interesting, man. I don't, want, I don't wish bad on no one. I, mean, I wish him the success. I wish him to see to fulfill his potential. So um, you know, we should see what happens. And I wish uh, Justin Fields. I thought that helicopter was at my place. But no, I wish Justin Fields for the best. I hope he succeed, he reaches full potential in Pittsburgh. Cause, Cause I know he just he wasn't given a fair chance, so And if Caleb do succeed, I don't think it has anything to do with oh well Justin nah. I think the Bears finally got it right when Justin Field was on his way out. They finally got talent in there, new GM, you know, new receivers. So they finally start started to get it right when he left. So, you know, I think they're learning from their past. And um, Caleb is very fortunate he didn't walk into a situation like Justin did. I'm not worried about it, man. The Lions gonna eat him up, boy. We gonna get after that young boy. So you know, welcome to the division. Welcome to the NFC North. I'm definitely hitting up the Lions games this season. I'm flying. I'm going to at least at least six. Easy money. He must be the running back. <sighs> man, honestly, man, it's all about the tape, the film. That's really what it come down to. All right, let's get ready for them deep balls. I know he got an arm, so I'm not surprised. Especially wide open target. It's 
just so tough, man. Quarterbacks, man. I think a lot of times people don't really watch the film. They get caught up in pro days and combines. Like, like old Unk say, Shannon Sharp. Does the tape match up with what they do at the combine? I think that's the best route to go when evaluating these quarterbacks. How do they play against adversity? How do they play against top teams? You know, stuff like that. How do they play coming from behind? You know, the tape, man. Snooze fest. Let's see what's this last this last um Alright. <laughs> I mean what did you guys take from that pro day? Um I don't know man. Me, I would have kept feels man, like it's the safer bet, like if Caleb do not work out, the Bears repeat history and they got to start all over again when they had the opportunity to set themselves up for the future. By keeping Fields, developing him, giving him all these weapons you have in the building now, getting Marvison Harris Jr., trading that first pick to you know, Commanders, Arizona, or the Patriots, and you still, you, you still be able to get Marvin Harrison and secure like next year first round pick or the year after that and maybe a second and then you got the ninth pick like oh man they could have but we gonna see though what do you guys think you think the Bears made the right decision hit the comment section let me know y'all stay safe out there please hit that like button hit that subscribe button road to 1k peace